What if everything you thought you knew about your childhood turned out to be a lie? What if your parents weren't really your parents and you were born with a completely different name, spoke a different language? What if all of this were kept secret from you? How would you feel when you found out? Austerlitz by W.G. Zabite is the story of a young man named Daphid Elias, the son of a dour Welsh preacher. Or so he thinks. As a teenager, he finds out that his real name is Jacques Austerlitz, that he's a Jewish refugee from Prague sent by train to escape the Nazis. By this point, his adoptive mother is dead, his adoptive father in a mental hospital. One day at a train station, Austerlitz sees a young boy who he realizes is his four-year-old self being sent by kinder transport to England. This vision finally inspires him to go searching for his original family. Austerlitz learns that while one train saved his life, another train took his mother to her death at Theresienstadt. His former nanny, though, is still alive, and he's reunited with her in Prague. The furniture she had inherited in May 1933 together with her great aunt's flat, the writing desk, the long ottoman, the camel hair rug lying folded at one end of it. Throughout my entire life, which was now unraveling headlong before me, all this had stayed in the same place. Because, as Vera told me, once she had lost me and my mother, who was almost a sister to her, she could not bear to alter anything. In 2001, when Austerlitz came out, the book caused a sensation. But W.G. Zebald didn't get to experience the full glory of his achievement. He died in a car crash just after his book was released. Chances are you've seen, heard, and read lots of stories about World War II and the Holocaust, but you haven't read one like Austerlitz. Thank you.